from walled medieval cities to salty seaside towns. England is a nation of glorious places, and every place has a story to tell. My great-great-grandfather started the business. And seeing the steam trains going by with the wagons full of coal on it. I said, when are you leaving? He said, I'm not. And that was and it. That was it. I was born just round the corner in Goulson Road Hospital. We used to get uh, arrivals of uh, great numbers of French trawlers. Layers of history make our island what it is. Bede said, this is the gateway to Britain. And the Prince Regent and other famous people came through here. Formerly the Danish borough, the home of a Viking army. Turner used to come down here and paint. They cast bridges, at least two bridges for Mark Brunel. It was sometimes easier to build down than try and build sort of up or out. In its caves and castles, mills and markets, barns and bridges, they bring us joy, <laughs> wonder and identity. They give us a sense of belonging, and they help millions earn a living. But sadly, some of the places that are most rich in heritage are down on their look. Towns and cities that have been the workshops of the world, once thriving fishing ports, or previously happy holiday resorts. Yeah, there are a lot of places that are really run down. A lot of shops that have closed down. And see what I mean about the dereliction. Certain parts of the high street have been forgotten about. It's a bit bleak for young people. Now all it needs is a few dry days and somebody to chuck a match in there and we've lost a medieval building. But their beauty remains and their heritage hasn't been lost. Through our Heritage Action Zones, Historic England is working with local authorities and other partners to transform these places and boost their economies, create jobs and skills, attract businesses and investors, make destinations for tourists and locals to love. We'll dust off their lovely characters and reveal their hidden riches. It should be good for the air. It needs money put into it, definitely. If these youngsters coming up now, they learn the history of what Coventry had to offer. Historic buildings will be put back into use. Empty high streets awoken. Sleepy villagers stirred. Inherently, it's a really beautiful town. It's got a fantastic potential. Real community spirit. It's the energy. A feeling at the moment that we're on the cusp of a very big uh, change.